All right, guys, so today we are going to build a form with React. I will show you the controlled input and the uncontrolled input. So let's go. I already uh, prepared some CSS, so we don't have to do some CSS. We are on a pretty simple Create React app application, and I will put the source code in the description if you want to grab it. All right, so first we need to create our form. So form with no actions right there. We are only going to use it uh, with React. So we need a label with some input. So HTML for name, your name. And then I can create an input type text. Great. With an ID to link it with the label ID equal name. And for example, we can put name equal name too. I will explain it later. So we can copy it and paste it one time. Oh, sorry. It's prettier, prettier. It's annoying sometimes, so up you can present it like that. All right, great. So it will be uh, your email and HTML for email right there. It will be linked with the ID. The type will be email too. And guess what? Name will be email also. Great. We need to finish it with a button, a submit button. Great. And below my form, I will just create a result div okay a result div with a span that will show our state so name and email for example okay great so in the real world you do not want to show that kind of stuff but it's just to show you how it's working all right so we do have our content our structure now we do need to create our state so we can come here we need to take the user state and use ref and use effect so const form state set form state equal user state and we will instantiate instantiate it sorry we will put a, a basic object right there with the name and the mail so this is the default um, way of handling some form with react you need to create some state and to link it with the different inputs etc this is called the control input way. It's not the best for every situation, so I will explain it later, but this is the most common way, actually. So we need to create, after that, a method, for example, const handle inputs, a function. And every time it will be triggered, we will change the state accordingly. So we will use set from state, set from state, and we will copy the existing state and replace the property that we want to replace with e dot target that name with the value e target value all right great so we do want to change that state every time we change something in the input so we need to copy it and for example i can go there and there and on change equal handle inputs all right, as simple as that. Unchange is like on input in Vanilla JS, is like input in, van in Vanilla JS, but uh, the Re React team just changed that event a little bit. So it's triggered every time you press something. All right, it's exactly like on input. It's the same with React, but not with Vanilla JS. Okay, great. So now every time I write something, it will just change the state accordingly. Okay, with the uh, that target, e that target that name. You could also put the ID. Okay, so it's uh, whatever you want. And now I want to visual visualize my state. <laughs> Sorry for the accent. So I need to go there and um, from state that name and from state dot email. All right. So right now it's um, it's nothing, and I also need to change the the value actually. So I will change the value right there, and I will put from state that name and from state that email. Great. So what we are doing right now with the value is called the two ways data binding. So we are going to bind the state with the value right there. All right, and we also bind it whenever we change it. So for example, if you start with something with my name it will be uh, written right there so it's already binded and if you change something it will also uh, change it change it accordingly all right so we can see actually 
Tom or John or whatever, it's working. We are actually changing the state every time we write something. So it's it's working. It's the most basic uh, usage of, of form with React. It's, it's the controlled input. So you are going to link the state with the different inputs, right? And if I write something, it will also work. All right, great. So this is the most uh, basic uh, way of handling form, but it can be um, not so great because our state is changing every time we write something. So imagine you have a lot of uh, inputs. It will be kind of strange in terms of performance and just logic to uh, every time replace the object with whatever you are writing. Sometimes you just want to uh, log with an authentication form, for example, and you just want to, um, to to do something when you submit the form and not, not when you are working or just writing something. But sometimes uh, that way, that control input way is also great. For example, when you have a blog and you are writing something, all right, I'm writing something and you want to show to your um, user what he is writing. All right, with some, um, yeah, with a blog or something like that. So sometimes it can be useful to visualize that state every time you write something, but sometimes for an authentication, for example, it's not useful. So how can we do uh, something without the control inputs? So how can we do something that we call the uncontrolled input? So we don't need actually uh, this, we don't need a state, we don't need a method like that, so we can just remove it. And right there, I can just comment it, okay? And we don't need to visualize it either. All right, great. So we are going to use use ref. Use ref is used is it's a hook. Uh, it's used to uh, do a reference, so to select something, uh, to select something. Yes. <laughs> so right there, I can just do const inputs equal use ref, and I will make it start as an empty empty array, empty array. All right. And now, since I do have multiple inputs, I want to uh, do my reference with a function. So I will create it right there, add check equal L. And I will add every element that I want to add into my um, array right there. So if L is existing, if it's present and it's not already in my array, so inputs.current.includes L. So I will uh, I will push inputs dot current that push L like that. All right. So it may look strange, but actually, uh, when you take some ref, it's an object. So input dot current, and in the current property will be my array. My array will be in the current property. Okay. So I'm just checking if my element is uh, right there, and if it's not already in uh, my array. If it's not, all right, I can push it. Okay, great. So now if you want to check it, you can use use effect, use effect like that. And you can visualize your inputs. So log inputs, all right. So after the, the component has been uh, created, you can check it and you see that we do have one object. So the input object, and inside it, we do have one property, the current property. And inside it, we have nothing yet because we need to link uh, our uh, value right, right there. So we need to create some ref and we put the add check method. And we do the same every time we want to add it to the array right there. Okay. And now, now I, I do have an object with a current property with an array with my two inputs right there. All right, so it's working, it's working. So this is a way to handle multiple ref with a function that you will pass right there with the ref property. And yeah, it will work just fine. If you do have just one input to reference, you can just not uh, use that, sorry. You can just uh, do something like that and just put a reference like that. All right, if you have just one element. And you'll see that it's working uh, just the same. It will just give you an object with a current property. And right there, there are no array. There is no array. There is just the element that, that you select.
Okay, so this is good if you have just one element. So if you have multiple elements, you can use a function like that. All right, great. So we don't need that use effect anymore. Okay, and we just need to handle the submit. We need to handle the submit of my form. So we can go there and say on submit equal handle submit, for example, handle submit. And now we can create that function. So const handle submit equal e. And I can e dot prevent default. Okay, great. And uh, I can also I can log uh, the different value of my inputs. For example, if I want to do an authentication with Firebase, well, I can log it right there. So I can do inputs.current. This is the object. And for example, I can also do inputs.current.0 that value. And exactly the same for the second element. So right there, let's just imagine I want to trigger my authentication. Okay, so every time I submit something. So Enzo and test at test.com. I submit it and I do have my value Enzo and test test is all right. So it's working just fine. So it's working, but I want to clean maybe my inputs when I'm logged or when I'm, while I'm trying to log. So I can do a simple uh, function right there. Inputs.current dot for each and I will just clean everything with imp value equal uh, nothing all right equal an empty string so now if I submit I will have uh, something else I submit it you see I still uh, retrieve the value I still have the value right there but my uh, inputs are clean uh, and they are empty all right, so it's working just great. This is the way um, of handling form with, without, without state actually, without state. This is called uncontrolled inputs, okay? Because they are not controlled with the state. Uh, there, there are no states in world involved right there, okay? There are no state. There are just some ref and some submit, okay? And you can also uh, you can also uh, clean the different inputs when you are playing with the um, control input. So I, I will show it to you, and this will be the end of the video. Don't worry. So if we just uncomment this again, so we are going to use control input again. So uh, right there, I can just comment it, and I will uncomment my state, and I will comment the reference section. Great. So right now, if I write something Enzo, great, and test at test.com, if I submit it, you see that it will not be uh, clean right there. Okay, so it's it's not working. If you want to make it clean with control input, you just need to play with set from state again, right there. And you can just pass an empty object. All right. So great, we can start with nothing right there. And you can put John and John Doe at test.com. And if I press press enter off, if I click submit, it will submit it and it will just clean my state and it will clean the inputs because it's linked with the two ways data binding with the value right there, okay? Great, so this is how we handle form with React. It can be a little bit hard to understand at first, but you will get used to it when you are creating a lot of form, all right? So you have two ways to do it. The control inputs way with uh, your state that you want to, for example, uh, show on the screen or you want to do something special every time someone um, enters something in your different inputs. And you have also the uncontrolled inputs way when you have an authentication, for example, in, and you do not want to trigger something and every time someone writes something, but just when uh, that person will submit the different informations. Okay, great. I hope I've helped some people and I will put the source code in the description. All right, have a nice day. See you next time. Bye.